Hi, today I'm going to show you the things that are new in Aries 1.1.0. Um, some of the modules have changed the behavior a little bit, so we'll just go through it real quick. First of all, in the um, Surrender Unit module, um, that works as, as originally when dropping it on a single unit, uh, but if you uh, drop it on a unit that's already surrendered, now you get this option um, to decide what to do with him. So you can either secure him, which is the only uh, possibility in the old behavior, or you can release them, which is a new behavior um, that basically takes them and restores them to their previous uh, arm state. So you'll notice here that if I have this unit and I surrender him, um, he puts his weapon away and he puts his hand on the head as normal. But if I um, come and I release him, he'll go back to blue four and he re-equips his weapon. Um, and so you can do this with um, both blue four and op four. Um, and the same behavior goes for uh, the player action menu. Um, so you can see here that there is the secure and release settings that do the same thing as uh, as I had when I was in Zeus there. But you can drop the module on them to yourself, or you can allow your players to come up and secure them. Um, another quick thing in the um, behavior section is that artillery targets are now uh, named. So you see if I create some artillery targets. Um, you'll see that they're called um, Bravo, um, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, um, in the in the order that they were created, um, and so that just lets you kind of keep track of those things um, a little bit easier. Um, the same goes for uh, reinforcement um, LZs and RPs, so you can see LZ Alpha and RP Alpha are here, and that helps you keep track of them a little bit easier uh, in the list over here. There's been some changes to the um, spawning of reinforcements as well in this version. Um, I'll just create an LZ here and an RP. And I'll show you um, when you spawn units now in the dialog, you'll notice there's this new um, unit behavior section um, where you can choose uh, the behavior of the units once they unload. So if I go to NATO, so they won't attack me, um, the vehicle types and things are all the same. Uh, but I can choose, say, this relaxed option. And when the player, or when the uh, troops unload at the position, which they will do eventually, you notice that uh, instead of running all the way to the uh, objective, he walks in a cautious manner with his weapon down and slowly will make his way towards the uh, RP once the vehicle's left him off. Um, the other options are um, cautious combat and default. Default is the behavior that they had before. Um, they'll run quickly with their weapons down. Um, cautious, they will move slowly with their weapons up. So I'll show you that one. So once the units unload now you see them moving slowly with their weapons up um, as if trying to secure the area. Um, and the last one is combat. And in combat, they will uh, move with the weapons up and quickly and do things like lie down and cover each other as they move. Uh, one further thing that's been added to um, the spawn unit thing is the ability for missions to define their own custom um, unit pools. So um, by default, there was always the CSAT, NATO, and AF that used the standard forces. Um, you can see here that I have a mod loaded into additional um, Mod unit pool set up one for Canadian Armed Forces and one for the CFP Rebels that are part of that mod as well. Um, and by choosing those, um, I can come in here and use all the same settings that I had before, except now it will spawn uh, these different kinds of units. Um, in this case, these guys were all the CFP Rebels. Um, and if I wanted to make the fight with somebody, I could spawn these Armed Forces units. And you'll notice that uh, these are all the CAD pad wearing units from that uh, from that mod and they will uh, so they're supported as well so you can use that to um, add from any basically any mod you want if you know the names of the units and the classes and things like that your mission um, designer can set up um, additional units that you would, might want to use in your mission if they're supported um, there's more information on the wiki about how to set that up um, in the extras section um, so if you want to take a look at that there's also some um, example scripts of how this one is set up and a setup for the RH, some RHS units um, that are available in the extras folder in the mod download as well. There's been some changes to um, Arsenal as well. So you see here I just made an ammo box that has um, nothing in it. It's a completely empty box. 
Um, and if I come here and I add this Arsenal at all module, um, that will go through all of the list of um, mods that you have loaded, all the weapons, um, uniforms, ammunition, items, and things like that, and attempt to add them all um, automatically to the to the box. So you don't have to go through and um, click them each by hand. So um, there's also some settings here that you can see in the dialog that will allow you to change kind of the behavior of, of um, some commonly used defaults that. Um, so you can change, choose whether or not to combine with existing items in the box or replace them since this is an empty box. Um, doesn't really matter. You'll notice that's um, familiar to the paste and combine and paste and replace. Um, it's kind of equivalent to those options. Um, you can choose whether or not to include the standard GPS um, objects in there or not. Uh, if you have a mission that doesn't want this run with them, that's relatively common in our squad, and so um, you might want to control the number of GPS units that are available. Um, same thing goes for um, thermal scopes, so that is like laser designators and night vision, uh, or sorry, the night stalker, and the machine gun thermal scopes um, to kind of limit the ability to uh, for players to have those. Um, same thing for NVGs, um, static weapon backpacks. Um, which actually allow you to choose if you want all of them um, or just the backpacks that are um, normally assigned to a specific side um, or none of them. And the same thing for um, UAVs and the backpacks that allow players to deploy the automated uh, turrets. Um, you can, so once you add these things, um, as I'll do here, you can see, um, now if I open up the arsenal list, it's got all of these weapons and I have some weapons mods loaded currently. So it's added um, a bunch of the HLC weapons to the box as well. And um, also like the suppressors and uniforms for um, the default uniforms. And I have um, my CADPAT mod running. So it's also added those, those uniforms in as well. And it's basically just gone through and saved you the trouble of having to go through and click all those boxes manually um, to add everything. And since it just adds them to a normal box, you can come in and if there's specific things, you made a mistake in the um, dialogue when you're adding it, or if there are just specific things that are added by default that you don't want to allow, you can always come in and um, change the number of those items through the normal arsenal method. Um, there's also been a couple um, small changes to the way that teleporting works for um, single players and groups of players. Um, normally you had to create a, a teleporter and then allow those units, and then placing the modules on those units would teleport them to the nearest teleporter. Um, which was a little bit clunky if you're just trying to move a single person or just a single group around. Um, you'll notice now that when you uh, drop the uh, teleport single unit module in, um, it gives you a list of all the players that are in the mission, and you can choose them, and it will teleport them to the location where you've clicked. So if I drop this module on the road here, and mm -hmm. click myself, um, you'll see that I've been teleported to that position on the road. Um, and the same thing goes for the teleport group module. Um, it allows you to choose from the names of the groups and um, move them to the position you wanted them to go to. There's also been some changes to the way um, that most of the equipment modules work. Um, and so if I go to the equipment module, you'll see that by default these units all have NVGs. They've got them on now. Um, I can drop the add remove NVGs um, and choose whether or not I want NVGs to be enabled or disabled. Um, you'll notice that when I drop that, I drop it onto um, a unit here. This is going to apply to his whole group um, now instead of just an individual unit, so you don't have to do um, on and off for each one of them. Um, so I can set NVGs to disabled right now. Mm -hmm. and you'll see they've had their NVGs removed, and also they've been equipped with um, flashlights on their weapons for all the all the members of the group. So none of these guys have their NVGs anymore. Um, and if I do enabled, mm -hmm. they've got their NVGs back. And now they've also got um, their flashlights have been changed with laser pointers. That applies, so dropping it on a unit applies it to the group. Um, dropping it in empty space in the world, so not on anything, um, you'll get a slightly different menu. You can still choose enabled or disabled as before, but then you can also choose um, who you want it to apply to. And this lets you apply it to um, all units on the map, um, basically, or units allow on, aligned to a specific side in the game. And um, the same functionality has been um, kind of applied to all the equipment. Um, modules now. So um, if I take the remove thermals, which um, isn't going to really apply to the, these units because they don't have thermals normally, but um, I can set enabled to disabled and I can choose the units on the map. So lastly, um, the same thing applies to the lights. Um, instead of being three separate modules now for lights on, lights off, um, 
it will it is a single module that you can drop. Um, uh, one last thing to mention to maybe clear up from a um, piece of existing functionality is that there um, in the save or sorry in the spawn section there is this um, custom mission objects module you can drop down and um, in this mission um, I've defined some specific things that are allowed to be spawned by um, Ares and so these are um, objects that are configured um, specially so for instance there's a vast ammo box or a vast box that I can spawn because the mission has VAS. I've set it up um, to automatically be able to spawn the VAS box if, if that's needed. Um, the same thing for uh, some other objects that we've that we've used uh, in the past. Um, if you want to learn how to do that um, and set that up so that you can so that you can um, spawn in some custom objects that allow you to do uh, mission specific scripting, um, there is some information on the wiki about that as well under the um, I believe it's under the extra setting or uh, extra section. Um, so just go ahead and take a look at that if you're uh, a mission maker and you want to add um, some more Ares functionality to your uh, mission.